Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the report for Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about Fahrenheit Roald Dahl. Yes, they've been trying to cancel Roald Dahl, the classic children's author, and we've had enough. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is about Roald Dahl. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've, uh, you're familiar with his work, uh, James and Giant Peach, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, many other classic, um, you know, children's books, um, you know, we all grew up with and uh, that are classics, you know. And I guess he was known for his kind of, uh, how would you say, colourful description of kind of, um, you know, like the kind of children who were misbehaving or or, or or were kind of obnoxious or maybe they were fat or they were this or they were that you know and he would sort of often mock um kind of uh, children who went to extremes in childhood and um in, in obviously in um charlie and the chocolate factory with those uh you know six characters who get sent down shoots or you know whatever and and then the one decent child who ends up with the golden ticket ending ending up inheriting the uh charlie and the chocolate factory itself so you know i mean he's a classic author and what's interesting is uh, obviously when I originally wanted to do this report he had sort of been cancelled and the estate of Roald Dahl had agreed to censor his work but there was such an uproar because even people on the left even people like the uh, uh, well not really I guess the current Tory Prime Minister of England who I guess he's a right winger so he came out and said he didn't want it censored but even many people on the le left came out and said that no th this shouldn't happen I even saw an article in the age that, that kind of mocked the idea of, of um you know censoring Roald Dahl so I think you know it is even some people on the woke left uh, who might you know, generally go along with woke agendas, but when it comes to centering someone like Roald Dahl, it's a bridge too far, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, in good news, it appears like it's not going to happen. Um, that um, the censoring of Roald Dahl has been uh, rolled back. You know what I mean? They, it, it was a bridge too far for them. I think maybe it might appear in some form a censored version of Roald Dahl might appear online or something. But I think mainly the classic books of Roald Dahl will remain intact in the original um, text that the author um, preferred. Because let's face it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Ministry of Truth. I mean, this is the big, once they begin to do that, you know, they begin to do everything. And as we've seen, they now want to do it with 007, James Bond, they want to alter the language. That's already, that's something that's being floated at the moment. They want to, um, you know, Obviously, they want to edit Enid Blyton, of course, another classic books we all grew up with, and Mark Twain. I mean, these are all classic authors. Their texts should be considered sacrosanct, ladies and gentlemen, sacrosanct. You don't mess with, with classic literature. This literature is as important as Shakespeare, and you don't mess with it. I mean, you, you know, you can have a textual apparatus or whatever, you know, which examines the language or whatever, if you want to, you know, you could maybe put a warning at the front of the book. That's about as far as anybody, you know, needs to go. And uh, it's all nonsense. The text should be considered uh, essentially holy, ladies and gentlemen, because these are the great literature of Western civilization, and leave it alone, woke retards.